Okay. What part of the venue are we in? A part of the venue? No, what part of it are we in? Catering. To the side. No way. You can eat right in There's, there. The no. Yeah. They have some good... Wait, through... It, do right we walk through, through catering? those doors. Why are we not filling this room? Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. You remember? I met... Yeah, no, I remember, but like, <laughs> what I'm saying is like, that pot roast. It's just weird. Like, how did you guys end up choosing this location? Well, because everyone else is so extremely loud with all of the bands playing outside, the wrestling, so we decided. Is this nice and quaint? Right. You all right with it? Oh, of course. I'm fine with of it. Of course. I was trying to figure out how we ended up back here. I did walk you, walk you right in. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't mean that way. I mean, like, how did you end up choosing this location? Like, we could be in my apartment. Because I have shelves like this where it's like, oh, do you? how many good, good records do you have? Uh, <laughs> Here you go. That's shelves. Shelves. I feel like. How was catering? Did you eat it? Yeah, I did. It's really how good. Was it? I had this like cheese tortellini. Delicious. That was lunch though. Now they have pot roast. I don't remember. Fucking what else. vanilla tortellini. Did you have? <laughs> did you have catering? How was it? Really good. Vanilla tortellini. Dinner's good. Pot roast. Yeah. Oh, I well. Saw that. Pot roast. You said vanilla tortellini. I didn't say vanilla. No, you said cheese tortellini. <laughs> it's the same goddamn thing. Okay, well, it was delicious, whatever you want. Yeah, to it's it. like getting a glazed donut. <laughs> I feel like that's a good cue to introduce my guest. Oh, sorry. As this. No, don't apologize. I'm going to get a beer, is that okay? Go get a beer. What's that? Be you my want? guest. I'm okay, thank you. you like it? I'm good, thanks. Okay. We're talking about New York lottery and the problem. Like, okay, so no one plays the lottery until the shit's over 100 million. However, if more people would play it when it was like, you know, okay, so when someone wins the lottery, it dumps back down to like nine million. Okay, which is fine. But so if more people would play the lottery when it was in between nine million and 50 million, there would be more winners early, and then it wouldn't be such a problem. There wouldn't be so much taxes like putting on the lottery. But most people don't play it until it's over 100 million. And I'm telling you this from experience because the other members of my chemical romance would not play it until it's over 300 million. Which was hilarious because I didn't understand that because I would play it after like nine million. Like, you couldn't, like, who couldn't use nine million dollars if you want it? I mean, give me a break. It's only a dollar. I watched a dude from fucking like Tenacious D buy a fucking lottery ticket with his weird Hawaiian escort. Um, he didn't win either. But, anyways, <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, um, I, I'm bullshitting out my ass. I'm just trying to make you think I had a point, but I didn't. It's so. Not I was going to ask, where did the lottery point come from? No, nowhere. There's nowhere for that Nowhere. Point. All no. right. No. It was true. Like, if he walked up thought I had a point, it was like, oh, well, here's a point. <laughs> we gave him a Some good pretzels. point. Some pretzels. Well, you know, how come Philly? <laughs> why, why are the ones in Philly always covered with butter and no one else is? <laughs> I know before. Oh, you know what? Before I get to my first question, I will introduce you because oh, I feel God, like it's about time. Oh, God. through that? Okay. <laughs> This is James from Reggie and the Full Effect, and I'm so excited to have you on Ambi, so thank you for joining me. We're waiting for Lance. <laughs> waiting for Lance, apparently. No, no. Hi. Sorry. Nice to meet you. I've been here all day. Mm-hmm. Feeling all right, though? It's been a great show. Great event. I'm exhausted mm -hmm. and uh, just had to like, attempt to try to curl, which... How did it go? I don't know. Do you know what curling is? Yes, I do. I don't. <laughs> So seeing it for the first time, like, see, I don't know. What I didn't know I was supposed to wear gloves or a coat. Yeah, and so you didn't know about the sweeping no and gloves. everything. Yeah, and uh, the guy was like, oh, you, you know, you launch off from this and then just throw it. And mm -hmm. Oh, wait, Lance, Lance. Lance. She's pretty, Lance. Well, that's Jared, Welcome, too. Welcome, that, Lance. That's Jared. Hello. Oh, wait, look, this, here's Hi. the full effect. This is Reggie's the full effect. Like, Welcome. Here's two of the full effect. Nice to meet you. That's Hello. Lance. Hello. That's Jared. Hi. Hello. How are you? Well, how are you? Great. What do you guys think about lottery? Lottery? We had a very yeah. in-depth you know, conversation about the lottery. A chance for anybody to make their dreams come true. Right. Truly. What would you do with a lot of lottery money? Oh, bad things, bad things. Why would you say bad things? Because they're good things, but I think they're bad things. But I don't know. <laughs> Give me an example. What, who would I think they were good things or bad things? Would they be like, like God thinks they're, they're bad know. things? Or you? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes, yeah. You know, they're good things. Yeah, we'll put a good what do you think God would think were bad things compared to like everything going on in the world? Like, what would See, God think God if you had three hundred million dollars? What would God consider a bad thing? Where it's like, 
oh, you killed a bunch of midgets? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, yes, killing anything. No, but like, that would be a yes, bad thing. Like, yeah. right. But if you, fortunate, yes. Right. But if you're like, oh, I, I could, I, you know, commissioned a bunch of like art where people are just pissing on shit. Like, right. would oh, God consider that a bad thing? Or would he just no. be like, See, that's a, a weird thing? If God liked bad. the art, then I'd say, yeah. Yes. But if he didn't like it, it'd be okay. <laughs> It's nice if he likes it, no, it's you're not good. leaving. Don't leave no, me hanging. Oh my. We're just the ear messengers. No, you're not. I have to go get one for myself now. Are you kidding? I thought be uh, for himself. No, this is Lance, by the way. Hi. He plays in Rage Full Effect. <laughs> Look at his muscles. <laughs> this is our ex. Really nice strong. Very nice to meet you. That's the, the, the drummer's Jared. He's over there. He's, his muscles aren't as big as Lance's. <laughs> Lance's you're ha- muscles are big. You're happy that they came over. I think that was a nice, a nice meeting. Went pretty well. How do you feel about it? I think it was pretty good. This is like every day. That was day. a very in-depth conversation, like for the first time meeting people. Oh. Yeah, usually usually religion waits so, a little. No, no, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm older than them and have been doing the touring band stuff for a lot longer. And so I like to sit in the van when we're on tour mm-hmm. and just throw it out there and see what okay. happens. Like, like, oh, hey, mid-20s people. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about this? What do you think about, like, possums? Running into the road, and the whole thing about rescuing them. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I made that up. So, <laughs> what do you think about like you know? And it's it's fun. It's you know they're like my little brothers. Well, you had mentioned being older there, and just speaking to age. We have to talk about forty one because you have some new music coming out, which is I super do. exciting because it's been it's been a minute. Um, and I love the cover. It's been since I was thirty seven. <laughs> I love that. Um, but the really cool thing about it, I love the cover. It spoke to me right away because it is a little play on adults. So, we, uh, my, uh, my mother passed away a year ago from lung cancer. And then the weird thing was like my mother-in-law passed away a year ago and a month to the day later from cancer as well. Oh. So... Like spent that whole time like writing the music and like working on the vocals to like try to figure out a way to kind of capture like what was going on like what I was going through and just dealing with like you know losing like your best friend or like losing someone who's so important to you and that was kind of the point of being 41 of like how the fuck am I dealing with this now at 41 years old like mm-hmm. why am I like losing control of my life at 41. And I've got all these things going on and doing all these things. And I, you know, like, the reason I'm a musician is because of my mother. And I was like, wait, like, why am I completely, like, a mess now? And it, seriously, like, it took, like, kind of coming to that conclusion of, like, all right, well, this is, you know, putting out this and writing these songs. And then it just kind of made sense to call it 41. And then do the same picture and yeah. try to rip off Adele. The best is like if you look at the Instagram thing, like when the post came out, it was like some kid was like, uh, totally alerting Adele. <laughs> they were ripping her off. I'm like, what? Like, that's the point. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, you're, I thought that's, that's what the, everyone would that's get. That's the whole point is yeah, to rip course. off Adele being 21. Like, well, there's always been that humor, especially within your music, like a nice exactly. undertone of it. So you carried it like, through. I thought it was pretty obvious. Yeah, I, well, I thought too. But that's <laughs> the best too. Is like, it's the internet, so there's always a person who's like, whatever. Yeah, of course. Yo, you know what? Dell has a record cover like the exact same way. <laughs> Her album like won Grammys and is way better. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I, I know. I'm well aware. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Like Garrett eighty five. <laughs> Garrett underscore. Uh, yeah, sorry, Garrett underscore eighty five. Yeah, we got we to get that right. <laughs> yeah. No. It, um. It's 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 great to be able to be 41, you know, and still be doing all the bands and still be writing music and still recording it and putting it out and people are actually giving a shit because that's the weirdest thing. Like even uh, we were watching the wrestling earlier and like kids are coming up like tapping me like, can we take a picture? Like, Do the picture. <laughs> are you kidding me? Like uh, yeah, like yeah. let's take like ten. <laughs> like I'm cool to you. Like, what, what can I give to you? Like, I'll give you guys catering and bring it back up. But. <laughs> well, I know that 2018, because we're talking about lasting this long, marks 20 years of Reggie yeah. and the full effect. So yeah. just thinking about that, thinking back to the first kind of memories and things that happened, have a swig. Um, one of the first things that happened, though, what comes to mind? What are some of the first memories of forming it? Well, the first memories of Reggie and the full effect were recording the first songs, and then I worked at a skateboard shop in Kansas City, and we didn't, like, we just put out cassette tapes. And so my manager at the skateboard shop and I made the demo cassette covers. So if you ever find 
a Raging the Full Effect four song cassette that's covered with dicks, then it's original. <laughs> Because okay. oh, we found all these porno magazines like underneath the <laughs> desk at the skateboard shop, and so we just cut out the dicks and like <laughs> you know put, put them, them on together it. and made four demos. Oh man, that's crazy! And I know one of them is in Seattle, so, so there's three around. If you're looking. somewhere in America, there's three around. People are probably older than me. There's a title that definitely stood out because you've only shared one song as of yet. Um, yeah. So I, I did look at the track listing though, and this title you have to tell me more about it. And that I'm sure. I think you might know which one it is, but it's the Channing Tatum space rollerblading montage. Have you music. seen that movie that he was in where he's like the half wolf? Like no, in, oh God, I had no idea where it came Jupiter from. Ascending, okay, no, I haven't. Called. And he's like this like wolf breed that has like space rollerblades. Okay. <laughs> oh no, it's so bad. That sounds so weird. It's so bad. And it's Channing Tatum, like, come on. Yeah. Like, Channing Tatum, like, you're, you're a great dancer. You're, Kind of like if he, he could be in like a Fast in the Chain of Kingdom movie. <laughs> but no, it, so the, when uh, the title of the song came up, it was that song, movie Jupiter Ascending was playing, and it was like, what is Chain of Kingdom doing? Like, oh, he's space blading. <laughs> like, What's that? Like, well, no, he's got like, he's like half wolf, and he's trying to rescue the girl from the semi show, so he's got like space blades, and he has like rolling blade through space, and like catch her. Okay. Like, well, he needs a song. Yeah, there's actually context to that now, and it yeah. all makes sense. Oh, no, that's why it's instrumental, and it's because I couldn't come up with the lyrics to that for that. <laughs> yeah, like, right? I'm just playing the keyboard like, chain chain rules. <laughs> He's such a good space blader. He's so good. Like, who can come up with the rules for that? Well, today we are at Every Time I Die's Tid the Season, where we not only have some great music, a great concert, but also wrestling. So if you were to step into the wrestling ring, what would your gimmick or persona be? My persona would be, I need to go because Frank's band's almost done and I have to play next. <laughs> well then, we will let you go. I cannot wait to see But if it's not that, it would be, um, <laughs> let's see. The opener. The opener. Yeah. Okay. It's a very strong... Okay, the, uh, the uh, uh, opener for the premise wing. Just see how many little kids would be like, what's that mean? Like, premise wing. No, I do have to Thank go. Thank you for I'm your sorry. time. I appreciate it's it. Like, I'm like, I checked my phone. Like, ooh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Feel free to come up to. The